All right, welcome back to Caulfield Bears. We've got uh, the North Melbourne legend, Glenn Archer, with me here. Glenn, how do you reckon you went today? Yeah, it was OK. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, uh, it's 30 years ago I started at this footy club and I played here for 10 years and it was a, a buzz just to run out there and uh, bring back a lot of memories and I really enjoyed it. It was a buzz for us to uh, be running around there with you, so thanks for coming around and giving us that privilege of uh, spending the last game with you. No. Uh, one of the things I know one of the boys would probably want to know is, um, you know, what, how do you rate the gap in percentage terms between what you saw out there and AFL? Because we all think we're pretty flash running around the park, but yeah. obviously it's a, a completely different league. Yeah. Give us a percentage of what you reckon the difference is between that and AFL? Um, yeah, it's well, obviously it's pretty big, you know. But even the, the the VFL to the AFL is big as well. So then it's yep. so percentage wise, you know, twenty very hard yeah. running right, right down the bottom. I'd imagine like, <laughs> yeah. you'd have to step I'd, up. You'd have to, yeah, massive it's step ma- up. It's ma- a massive step up. Yep. Um, and it's hard because you, you guys don't get to train like the other guys as well. They're they're, they're training every day. Yeah, well, I've clocked up uh, a total of uh, zero sessions of training all year, <laughs> so uh, I know what you mean. Yeah, <laughs> um, what advice would you give for, for guys that want to sort of you know junior starting out yeah. to, to get to the AFL? What, what's the biggest thing you noticed in AFL? That got you that far? Yeah, uh, it's probably different now, but uh, these days, if you want to make the AFL, your preparation's got to be so important. Back in my early days, I could get away with a lot of things. I could get out and have a few drinks, and you know, like we used to drink every weekend, you know, two nights a weekend. You just can't do it now. You've got to be ultra professional. You've um, so your preparation's massive. What what you actually put into your body is huge. Well, when you talk about grog, food. Um, and, there's so many great, good players out there these days. You know, the Auskick program that they've run yep. has just built the game up. And, and is that where it starts, right at that Auskick I mean, level? Yeah, I reckon it does. The, the AFL's done such a great job. So this is, by the time they, these kids get to 18, it's such a massive pool of kids to choose from. Yep, yep. And you've got to be doing something be- better than your opponent. One, you've got to have talent. Yep. And two, you've got to be doing a lot more than what your opponent's doing. Yep. So what's what's left for us? Last game? What's next? Yeah, no, I've... I've uh, I'm in the business world now, so I've got a couple of businesses, and I've got four young kids. So I've uh, got my son at Auskick, I've got my two daughters playing basketball, so my weekends are gone, and taxiing them around. around. Pretty, pretty much shot. Yeah. Now, you're known as the hardest man in AFL, and I think you've kept that image up for a long period of time. But the career's over. Yeah. How about a hug? <laughs> <laughs> Good work, mate. Thanks, Ash. Pleasure, and uh, thanks for watching Caulfield Bears. Thanks, no mate. Thanks for having me. Good stuff. Thanks, Ash. Appreciate it. <laughs>